Hey y'all, this is Dana. Welcome to my channel. I am back with my next idea for um, embellishments. These are mega head embellish embellishments. And so what I thought I would do is I'm going to use my ribbon and this is kind of like that Grogain, I think it's called Grogain ribbon. And I'm going to make it curly. That way I can use it um, in embellishments like on like if I want to make bows or if I want to just make cards and add it, just anything. So um, I did happen to see this on Pinterest a long time ago and I thought, you know what, I am going to give it a try and let's see how it works. So I did try it and I did one. And look how it turned out, y'all. It's all nice and curly. So let me show you how to do this, okay? I've got my oven heated at 250 degrees. Okay, it sounds crazy. You're gonna be putting wooden dowels with ribbon in your oven, but y'all, it worked. Okay, so all you do is you kind of start your ribbon kind of curling it around. Let's see if I can get this correctly. I'm gonna get it all curled around, start it out and get it curled around. And then, let me, let me try that again. I want it to make sure it's kind of like spiral. Okay, so kind of hold it out like this. Get your, use a clothespin, and you just twist this around, holding it real tightly, just like this. And you're gonna just take your, keep going around with your ribbon until you get to the bottom. And you keep on going. This is so simple, y'all. You can make these and you could just have them all ready to go. Oh my goodness. And you're gonna get to the bottom of your dowel. And this is like, I don't know, it's like a half inch or less dowel, wooden dowel. And when I get to the bottom, I'm going to take another clothespin, just like this, and then I'm going to take my scissors and trim this off, just like this. Okay, so I'm going to, since I clipped it out a little farther, let me see if I can twist it around there. Okay, so like this, you want to make sure that your you want to make sure that your clothespins are like lay in the same direction so it'll lay nice and flat on your on your um, pan. Okay, I've already got some wrapped right here. Okay, so I'm going to go, we're going to take this and I'm going to go put it in my oven for 20 minutes at 250 degrees. And... And once I do that, I excuse my old pan. This is a very old pan, but I just lined it with foil. And you're just going to put this in the oven at 250 degrees for 20 minutes. I'll be back. Okay, so you see I've got the oven set at 250. I'm going to get this put in the oven. And then just let it, let it cook for 20 minutes. Okay, so I just got them out of the oven. I let them cool for a few minutes until I can, until I'm able to handle them. And now we're just going to take it off the wooden dowels. So just remove, just remove the uh, clothespins and just gently kind of loosen it up. And then when you got it gently loosened, then just slide it off carefully. And look at that, y'all. Isn't that beautiful? You can cut these and put them in a bag. You can save them for like if you want to make something that deals with ribbon. If you use some ribbon, if you add it curly like this, y'all, it's going to really make it pretty. So let's take off the other ones. It'll make any project that you do so much prettier. So I'm just going to loosen it up. And I'm going to take it off. And 
there. But there you go. Look at that. And that's so pretty. Okay, so let's take them off the rest of them. Okay, I'm going to loosen it. I just kind of loosen them up because you don't want it tight. I was talking to my dad a while ago while I was letting these let these cook in the oven and um, his birthday is this Sunday he's going to be 83 so I told him pop what do you want for dinner for your birthday now my sister is gonna come take him I hear on Sunday to church and to out to eat afterwards and um, he told me, well, I don't know. And so my other sister had told me that he actually wanted to eat lobster. So I told him, what about going on Saturday to eat at Red Lobster? Look how these are turning out, y'all. Fabulous, huh? Just fabulous. So I'm going to lose them up. So anyway, he's like, well, that's expensive. I said, but it's your birthday and you only turn 83 one time. So he's like, okie dokie. So, and there we go. Look at this is what I've got going so far. You can cut them or leave them long. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to cut them yet. Uh, I think I'll leave them like this, but look at these. Look, isn't that just fabulous, y'all? So there you go. Ribbon for to make goodies with, to make projects with. Everybody adds ribbon to things, and it's going to be more fun if you have it all nice and curly. So anyway, um, a nice good thing for you to do too, and let me see if I've got one in here. Check. So do. Okay, so because the ribbon, you know, it kind of frays on the edge, so just make sure you kind of melt down the edge a little bit. That way it won't fray. So make sure you do that to the end of all your ribbons. When I make bows, that's what I always do. So, and that way then it does not fray. It stays nice and good for you. And then whatever project you decide to put it on, be fabulous. So anyway, I'm gonna finish burning the edges of these other ones and I'm excited how these turned out. I'm gonna be making some more. So I have different colors in my stash. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. So what do you guys think? I hope that you have enjoyed this. Okay, hold on a second, y'all. Gotta make sure I gotta plug in my phone here. Okay, sorry, I had to fix my phone. I think I got a minute or two, so I think I'm good. Anyway, y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Give this, give this a try. Pull out your ribbon, you know, pull out your wooden dowels. If you want bigger curls, use bigger ones. But I kind of like these smaller ones like this. I really do. I think it's really pretty. And, yeah, I think they'll look great on projects. And if you do this ahead of time, you'll have them all ready for when you need them. Anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching, and thanks for subscribing, and thanks for all your sweet, kind comments, and um, yeah, thank you again, and I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome evening. Have a good night. Bye.